He's back once again. Let's get into it. Man, torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. My hair's growing. You know what it is. If you want to donate, the link is in the description. Hit that thumbs up. I don't have a, any type of way to say something from the beginning. I don't have a structure. So <laughs> I'll just say whatever comes to my mind. And I'm recording myself. So sometimes it comes out all crazy. So I'm sorry. But anyway, thumbs up if you like the content. Thumbs down if you don't, you know what it is. All right, man. Ransom comes out with another EP, Deleted Scenes. Now, Ransom is a Jersey City rapper who made his way through the scene years ago with the A-Team. And, and Ransom never stopped doing music. Ransom never stopped doing music, and I think that Ransom got into a into a place where I believe he was looking for his sound even though although I think Ransom can rap any type of way he wants but I do believe and this is from coming from me wholeheartedly I do believe that Ransom at one point was chasing the nuanced sound maybe years ago because it was what everybody was doing you know what I'm saying I didn't think that I and, and to be honest with you that's just what it is like a lot of people do that. It's nothing wrong with that because you want to stay ahead of the curve. You don't want to be one of those rappers that's just still rapping. So I believe that. But I also believe that Ransom recognized that there's nothing better than just being Randy. You know what I'm saying? And I think he was always Randy, but I think now he's grown. He's a little more mature. He's much more mature, I would say. And he knows that he's more than just a rapper now. He's more like a street poet or a poet or even an intellectual street poet. He's much more than just a dude spitting bars. Much more than that. So now his his words, some of his words, maybe a sentence on some of his bars has more meaning than a not a lot of these a lot of these new rappers albums just a sentence certain things he say the way he connects his words he has a story within his words a lot of his words carry on and make you think about other things so that's the thing about ransom that i believe that he has this he has this this he has grown into this extreme force of an MC that is undeniable undeniable you cannot there's there's no way anyone can tell me that if you listen to him that you wouldn't automatically want to know who he is because he has became that type of MC he found it and he crafted into what he wanted it to be now his projects are unbelievable. Like, even his EPs are unbelievable. It's like, what am I listening to? Like, what? Like, wait a minute. Like, don't get don't get me wrong. Like, nothing's perfect. But this is damn near perfect. <laughs> like, like, what do you want me to say? Like, it's like, it's like, what do you do at this point? What do you do? And I think that. Him as an artist is like, like, I just don't know what to say comparing him because it's like, okay, I'll give it to you like this. It's like beat makers, right? You got legendary beat makers, but then you got new beat makers. And sometimes you might get caught up and say, damn, these new beat makers are better than the legends. And I feel like that about Ransom sometimes. I listen to his words, I say, damn, he's better than a lot of legends. Like, 
And he's a legend himself because he's been doing it for a minute. Don't get me wrong. Now, I think that things take time. Again, like with Royster 59. I think Royster 59 always been fire, but he he kind of found this out. And also too, given the state of where we're at in, in the world with the quarantine and everything going on, you gotta understand now that most people are forced to listen to words and what the songs are saying now because there's no more concerts. There's no more big videos. Most of the videos are coming from these artists who are, you know, newer but not uh, really mainstream. And a lot of these people, they forced to listen to the words now. So I think that this is where Royce wins. This is where Ransom wins. This is where uh, this is where Benny the Butcher wins. This is where they win because they're very good with lyrics. And I think that Ransom get into this project, the EP, it's called Deleted Scenes. So the, his the director's cut scene, director's cut scene one, two, three, then deleted scenes. And it's like he has a whole thing going on. And that's what makes it so uh, amazing that he's sticking to what the theme is. You know what I'm saying? And he's still being him. This to me puts him at the rapper of the year to me. He's the artist of the year when it comes to rap. Hip hop artist of the year is Ransom to me, hands down. He put out four projects and features and the four projects he put out is either a strong nine or a 10. And he has one more coming out. <laughs> Crime scenes. Like, come on. So if he has one more coming out, and he already put out four, and he has one more, what can you really say? Now I could just imagine going forward. He's only getting better. So if 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 he's putting out these albums in the next year, if he puts out five albums next year, what what? Like, come on. I'm sorry I had to go off on a tangent, but it is what it is. But I'm let me just that ain't even the review yet. But let me get into the review. So, all right. So I'm just gonna judge this album because it's an EP. So it's only four songs, right? I think it's five songs, four or five songs, and it's ten minutes long. But boy, that's an experience. I'm telling you, just those ten minutes, it makes you feel like it's a whole album. Like to me, I know some people was like, oh yeah, I want, I want it more. But this is an experience. It's like, it's like a project of its own. Like, even though I know it's it's supposed to be connected to the other two, but it's like, if these are your throwaways, buddy, come on, man, come on. So the lyrics, of course, is a 10. Like, you can't, I can't, I cannot, I cannot go no lot lower than a 10 with the lyrics. Lyrics is a 10, man. Like, he's top notch. I want to do a whole video on the elite lyricist class. I want to do a video on elite lyricist class. And I'm going to break down who's in my elite lyricist class. And he's definitely in it. So, the elite lyricist, one of them. Lyrics is a 10, man. Production, the production <sighs> fits him like a glove. It's really nothing to say. Like, the production is amazing, it fits him. And I don't think that a lot of rappers can do what he's doing. Like, some of these joints, he's just rapping over the sample. There's even no beat behind it. But just the way it's placed, and he's just, the way he's doing it. It reminds me of 9-5, 9-6, that type of vibe. But at the same time, it's like, it's modern. You know what I'm saying? So, I get that. And then... Sound quality, sound quality to me on this one was okay. It wasn't like something that was super crazy, but it was okay. It could be a little bit better. But either way, I'm going to get this album a strong nine, pushing up to a 10. Like I said, he's not giving out nothing that's less than, less than a 10 to me. Less than a, uh, uh, I mean, sorry, less than a, uh, not less than a nine to me. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he's, He's putting out some amazing material. 
and I can't wait to see what crime scenes is going to be like. And if it's anything like these, ah, I just don't know what to say. Anyway, told you to talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hey, man, Ransom. Keep doing what you're doing, man. You're an amazing artist, man. You're an amazing MC. I think that if you keep going and you do this, you keep this up for the next five years, you're going to probably be one of the goats, bro. Torch Talk, you know what it is.